From the trading desk of dailyforex.com, this is Christopher Lewis looking at the upcoming March 28th Forex session. In front of you is the Euro dollar, and you can see just how ugly this has gotten. Wednesday was a pretty negative session for the Euro against the dollar. As you can see, we went as low as uh, basically 127.50. If that gives way, 127 is more than likely going to be seen. And uh, quite frankly, there's nothing on this chart that makes me think that that won't happen. Whether or not it will happen right now might be another story. It is getting uh, pretty massively sold off. But, uh, you know, let's be honest here. This is starting to become more of a panic because you have to think about uh, this chart and this pair and the terms uh, that the ultra wealthy and the large funds are thinking. You know, over here, you have Europe which has all kinds of banking issues and over here you have the United States. Money will continue to flow across the Atlantic towards the United States as long as there are concerns about deposits being safe. The solution in Cyprus, although a much watered down version of this, went after depositors to bail out banks. That is something that has never been seen before, at least you know, on purpose, with the exception of uh, there was a, a bit in Italy at one point when they went into the euro. But this went against everything that uh, depositors have been told. And quite frankly, I think it scared a lot of people. So it makes sense that this pair continues to sell off. Now, I do believe that 127 is significant support. So I don't know that we have a whole lot of room to go. I'm actually going to trade this more from an aspect of selling rallies. I think 130 will continue to be just like a brick wall. I, I just don't see us getting over it right now. And uh, to be honest with you, I'd have to see 132.50 taken out to the upside to even consider buying this pair. Uh, I do think the downside's somewhat limited. So again, uh, waiting for pullbacks might be the way to go. You can even, I suppose, make a little bit of a case for some type of channel thing going on here, uh, which could have us going as high as 129.50, I suppose. Probably stretching it with this analysis part here but I do believe that every time we rally and we see some type of resistance unless there's some kind of like actual solution it's going to be difficult to own and uh, own the euro dollar and on top of that we have to watch what happens in Nicosia uh, during the session today because there are a lot of people chattering uh, in the forums on the net every you know the professionals out there are chattering about watching uh, how this goes because if they open up the banks and they get some kind of nasty run and uh, things get worse rapidly uh, we could see uh, a ripple effect perhaps people in Italy will be concerned about their deposits because the Italian banking system is um, in pretty dire straits as well if you start to get that happening runs on the banks you've got real problems and the euro can really get busted at that point so needless to say, regardless of what happens, I'm not interested in buying. I think this thing with Europe is unfortunately just starting. We will see a lot of choppiness going forward. But right now, I am selling rallies.